Hello, I'm Janelle Shala, and in this video I'm discussing a rare mineral called datalite. This first piece here is very typical of datalite. It's that kind of yellowy-greeny color, and this is quite a large crystal. Because it's a rare mineral, these are expensive, so be prepared to pay a bit for them. Um, it's a calcium borosilicate, and it's a hydroxy mineral, so it, it's hydrous. It's... Um, it's a, I've compared it to petalite. Now, I haven't talked about petalite yet in one of the videos. I intend to do that soon, I do promise. But there is a similarity between what they do. So petalite will clear all the chakras and balance them, and it has a real focus on the throat and the third eye. You get the same thing with datalite, but where petalite has a very light touch to it. The data light goes in there with jack boots on. So be prepared. It's not that easy. It's quite challenging to work with, but the results are worth it. I'm going to show you another example. This is kind of a bluey color, but it has color zoning where there's a, a going into a yellow. This is also quite typical, but more often you'll get the greeny colored crystals like the first one I showed you. Now what happens if you persevere with the data light and you let it do all its cleansing process and the balancing process is that you find yourself suddenly sitting up very straight, you feel really in control, and you're thinking clearly. So I love it when I'm trying to write or something like that and I'm having a lot of difficulty. It's a really nice one just to get my brain together. Also helping with a lot of, um, a lot, it, it helps with self-confidence. Now, I'm going to show you another piece here. This is another large yellow crystal, but on the opposite side of it, it's been encrusted with tiny quartz crystals, very sparkly and shiny. As with any time that data light or any other crystals covered in quartz, it magnifies and amplifies the energy of the crystal. And you also get the clarity of the quartz with it. And quartz has a certain neutrality about it, so it will possibly help you to feel like you're standing back a little bit from all the reactions your body is having while you're using it. I have one last example here. And this one you can't even see the data light except for a little bit of a, there's a little sort of quality to the color. This one has been completely overcome. <laughs> It's not quite the word I want. It's been completely encrusted in these Druzy quartz crystals. Now, Druzy quartz, very sparkly, very lively, very playful, and it has a real kind of fairy energy about it. So there's something really smiley about this one. But if you're, look, if you're looking to work with it, this is a nice one to work with. If you're looking to have a specimen where you can really see that this is data light, then probably go for one that has more of a, you know, less, little bit less quartz on it. Anyway, as I was saying, you end up feeling very clear-headed, very upright. You feel that you have some sense of what's going on in the world. Melody talks about it as the, um, having a sense of the, um, of the, quick passing, I, I'm, I've lost my words, but the quick passing of life, how, how, um, how, how transient life is. And so it's a sense of this too shall pass because if you're, um, if you're going through a really bad time, you know that you'll move on from it. So I do see what she's saying because it, it comes with that kind of clarity. But what I feel most about it is this real sense of clarity of the mind. I love it for that purpose. I hate it when I get foggy brain, which is altogether too often these days.